It can take practice doing several problems for wind correction angles and time distance with a flight computer to really understand it. This question asks, what is the estimated time and route from Sandpoint Airport to St. Marie's Airport? The wind is from 215 degrees at 25 knots, and a true airspeed is 125 knots. So we'll have to determine the direction between these two airports to find the effect that the wind has on our ground speed. The first thing we'll always do is to draw our wind vector on the computer. And so our wind is from 215 degrees at 25 knots. So we'll position our grommet over any one of these lines because the arcs are all equidistant. And we'll mark up 10, 20, five knots and make our wind vector. I like to draw a line representing our wind. Next, we'll have to set our true course and we'll have to measure that on our map. So let's go to our chart and measure our true course and distance from Sandpoint to St. Marie's. Our true course is 183 degrees. To determine that distance, we'll have to hold a piece of paper up to our chart and mark that length, then measure the mark on our paper with the minutes of longitude, because every little mark of longitude representing one minute is one nautical mile. And the distance between the major lines of latitude you'll see are 30 miles and I measure that as 58 miles. 183 degrees true course and 58 nautical miles. So back to our flight computer, our true course is 183 degrees. We see we have a quartering headwind. And finally, since it's a headwind, we know that our ground speed will be slower. We're gonna slide the card and put the dot of our wind vector over our true airspeed so we can read the corresponding ground speed. See, our ground speed will only be 103 knots. And using the front side of our computer, if we set our rate arrow at 103, we always read time on the inside and distance on the outside. So 58 miles, it will take us about 34 minutes to travel. So the answer will be C.